Hi, it's Josh from Bright Tangerine, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to install your left field kit for the Sony FX6. For this, you're going to be able to do most of the build with a 3mm and 4mm hex key, as well as a flathead screwdriver. First, let's start with assembling the base plate. So I'm going to put this to one side. We're going to grab our 15mm lightweight support base plate and our Sony FX6 riser. So uh, with the Sony FX6, you have a quarter 20 and 3 8 thread which attaches to the bottom of the camera. You want to make sure that the quarter 20 is facing the front uh, and the front is of the base plate is if you're looking down, the locking lever should be on the left hand side. The quarter 20 is at the front and the locking lever is on the left hand side. Right, now this is tightened, we can attach this to the camera itself. And what we're gonna to need to do first is uh, remove everything, so. Okay, now we can flip this over upside down and go ahead and attach our quick release base plate. For this, you're gonna need the flat head. Make sure it's straight and tighten it up. Moving on, we're gonna attach our top plate. This is done by four screws that um, attach to the top of the camera. We're gonna get a four millimeter hex key and we're gonna make sure that the Bright Tangerine logo is at the front. Okay, once the top plate is on, we can now go ahead and reattach the Sony handle. Right, if you haven't already, remove Sony's monitor bracket as we're gonna install our own. Once you've done that, we can take a look at installing our folding NATO bracket. So let's start with the folding NATO. Let's open this up and we can see here at the back, there's a small heli coil for a uh, quarter 20 and this is where our brace goes in. So our support brace attaches here and we're gonna start uh, assembling this off the camera. So grab a three millimeter hex key. Don't fully tighten it up. We're just assembling it off the camera to make it in easy for installation. Now we can go ahead and add this to our top handle. So we need, to, we need a four millimeter hex key now. We just start threading this in, just one bit at a time. Okay, great. Once you tightened up the four mils, grab the three mil again and just finish tightening up that bolt. Cool, now that's done, we can move on to actually attaching the monitor bracket itself to Sony FX6 monitor. Before we do that, we are gonna install our monitor our cable hook so if we grab the cross head and remove the screw on the back on the back panel should come out fairly easily put this to one side and we grab our cable hook using a 1.5 millimeter hex key. 
If you download this file from our website and print it yourself, you will need an M2 by four screw uh, to attach this piece. Once that's tightened up, we are ready to install the bracket itself. So let's attach the monitor bracket. With the monitor bracket attached to the back of the FX6 monitor, we can go ahead and mount the 15 mil bar bracket. This is where the axle bar will be fed through. So we need a four millimeter hex key. Tighten that up. Okay, great. Now we can install the mini axle to the folding NATO. So at the end of the NATO, we have a safety stop. This can be re removed if you don't need it. If not, you can just clamp leave it on, clamp over, clamp over, and now you have your adjustments back and forth. Then let's install the monitor. Tighten up the locking lever. Go ahead and plug in. Lastly, we have our cheese plate for mounting Teradex or any other accessories. And this attaches to the top bar uh, using a, again, using a NATO. So I think we need, yeah, if we get a three millimeter hex key. Go ahead and tighten that up. And there you have it. So you've installed the rest of your left field kit for the Sony FX6. And now you wanna install uh, your BT top handle and our mini axle. So first of all, just like the top plate, we're gonna install this center console. Now, we need a four millimeter hex key. Then we're gonna grab the, uh, our BT top handle we're going to slide this on via the NATO rail, pushing the safety button, slide on. Then we're going to lock off on the locking lever. Now we can go ahead and install the NATO rail for the monitor bracket. First, we need to grab the 8T Sony adapter. This attaches to the front here and we need a four millimeter hex key. We'll tighten that up. Once this is done, we can move on to adding the NATO bar. Grab a four millimeter hex key and attach this onto Sony's 8T adapter. Once that's in place, we can add the drumstick. And then we can go ahead and add our monitor bracket itself. Once, once that's on the drumstick, you can lock off and add your monitor. Once that's locked off, you're ready to go. Hope you found this video useful and we'll see you next time.